I was sent this post here on Instagram and looking at it, this post is actually targeting pregnant individuals. And they say our wines contain 0.5% alcohol by volume. We are not 0%. So I did a little investigation and here's what I found. The problem is that most or many non-alcoholic beverages actually still have alcohol in them anywhere from zero to up to 2%. This study here looked at 45 non-alcoholic or low alcohol beverages to see what their alcohol concentration was. 29% of these beverages contain alcohol levels higher than what was stated on their labeling. And six of the beverages that were non-alcoholic had greater than 1% alcohol in them. The fact is this, there is no known safe amount of alcohol to consume in pregnancy. You have fetal alcohol syndrome that is obviously associated with a more heavy alcohol consumption, but again, that varies between individual to individual. Then you also have fetal alcohol spectrum disorders, which is on a varying spectrum of severity of effects on the fetus. Again, there's no correlation between how much alcohol is consumed and what the outcome might be on the fetus. Fetal alcohol spectrum disorders can cause physical, cognitive, and behavioral complications, while fetal alcohol syndrome is the most severe form, as I said, and that can cause dysmorphic facial features, growth retardation, and serious neurodevelopmental disorders later in life. So this is why any major medical organization strongly recommends zero alcohol consumption in pregnancy. And there will be a, never be a study to examine this because no IRB will ever approve the study exposing pregnant individuals to alcohol. Now, please do not flood my comments with the, I drank X amount or every now and then while pregnant and my baby was fine. That's called survivorship bias. The drinking no alcohol in pregnancy is an absolute for me and many medical organizations. And that includes the non-alcoholic or low alcohol content beverages.